1874, the Chickamacomico Life Saving Station was the first of seven built on Hatteras Island and of 27 built in North Carolina. Today, the site is lovingly preserved and provides a window into the history of the ordinary and heroic lifesavers of the Outer Banks. Visitors can tour the site and see the original structures and equipment used in the dozens of rescues that the crews of this life-saving station performed over the years until its decommission in 1954. In the summer of 2018, the Chickamacomico Life-Saving Station is celebrating the centennial anniversary of the rescue of the Merlot, a British tanker ship hit by a German torpedo off the Rodanthe coast. My name is Justin O'Neill, I'm a board member of the Chickamacomico Life-Saving Station. I'm a descendant of Captain John Allen Midget Jr., the keeper here at Chickamacomico Life-Saving Station during the Merlot rescue. This August, there will be a week-long event to celebrate the 100th year of the Merlot Rescue. On March 19th of 2018, the Dare County Board of Commissioners proclaimed August 16th Merlot Commemoration Day and August 13th through 17th Merlot Commemoration Week in Dare County. The Merlot Centennial Week celebration will include an art display at the Dare County Arts Council, Merlot artifacts at the Graveyard of the Atlantic Museum, and a keynote speech and film premiere at the Chickamacomico Historic Site. In addition to preserving the historic site, the Chickamacomico Life Saving Station hosts rescue reenactments, historic tours of Hatteras Island, and wedding ceremonies. Every week during the summer on Thursdays at 2 o'clock, there's a reenactment that shows how the crew here at Chickamacomico saved the men from the wrecks back of the sandbar. Recently, the station was awarded a grant to improve the facilities with the addition of a new parking lot, restroom facilities, and roof on the 1911 structure. It's important because it's a part of history here in Rodanthe. It does not need to be forgotten. The heritage and the history needs to go on for the younger generations to know what went on here in Rodanthe.